and really I'm so happy that she has really attained their goals and reaching greater heights, uh, really, really heights. So let me introduce to you uh, this lady. Uh, I've known her for years and uh, I would not want to reveal the age, so uh, medyo simply lang tayo dyan, you know. Uh, her name is Trixie Esguera and her middle name is Barreto. It's very, very familiar. She's also known as a positively tricks, positive tricks. Okay, medyo tongue twister, huh? but uh, later you'll know why. Uh, who gives weekly tips huh? and uh, tricks, tips and tricks. Talaga nga, tricksy and uh, trips to keep positive uh, vibes. <clears throat> you know, she's the Philippines Vision Board. Coach, wow, this is something interesting. A speaker to various companies and groups, both here and abroad. You know, international din ito. You know, I'm so proud. Uh, Filipinos really going greater, greater heights. She's a graduate of the UP. Hmm, one big fight, huh? <laughs> An active uh, Toastmaster. Oh, you know, when I... Toastmaster, uh, medyo mahirap po masadyan, ha? A platinum member of the Bo Sanchez Truly Rich Club and really very, very valuable. She's one of the universe Miss Philippines, Miss Universe Catrona Grace Dale Carnegie classmates. Oh my gosh! Mukhang maraming chismis ito, no? And a Tony Robbins crew member. You know, I don't know. Uh, it gives so much weight. Uh, really, uh, friends, let's wag na natin patagalin to, you know. She's really uh, hot on the trail. Let's welcome Miss Trixie Esguera. Trixie, how are you? Good afternoon. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Sir Boots. Yes. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. And uh, how are you doing these days? Uh, busy? 29 ah, is busy, hectic. That's right. Um, very busy po talaga, but I'm very, very happy. Um, there are a lot of good things happening right now. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm very happy, sir, that I, I'm able to be here with you today. Thank you for the invitation. And I cannot wait to, uh, to answer your questions. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, um, you know, I'm, I I really had to look high and low for you because really I've seen your post, I've seen uh, uh, your tips, uh, and also your likes. Ah, grabe ang followers mo pala, grabe talagang uh, really all out uh, numbering. You know, easy lang naman, no? Pinas lang naman, no? Six hundred likers, uh, grabe. So tell me tricks, uh, Trixie. Um, where did all this energy come from? Uh, Trixie oh, wow. Esguera, the positive retrix. Uh, tell, right. tell us how, how positive what happened. Ah, hmm, hindi ko po alam saan po siya nang galing. No? Kasi when I first met you, sir, many, many, many years ago, I, it was when I attended one of your seminars. Uh, because I was, of course, still am naman working for Wrap It Up. And, uh, Hindi pa ako ganito, sir, di ba? As in, pulo, wrap it up, yan. Yun, yung, yun lang yung side of business that I was looking into. Uh, but I don't know, sir. One day, I just woke up and I felt na, hmm, parang, parang, parang may mata, malakas na calling. Na hindi ako sure, pero why don't I give it a shot? And so, uh, since I noticed that, you know, whatever I post, whatever I, I talk about, it all gears towards positivity, um, positive vibes. So, so because, hmm, I took the strength finder test actually, and I, I, you know, it was an eye opener that my number one strength turned out to be positivity. And so, a little bird just told me that, hey, positivity plus tricksy, positive tricks. And with that, it has evolved. <laughs> so, I, I, um, my, whenever I give workshops for companies and groups, um, it's all about, you know, positivity at the workplace or at home, um, that kind of thing. So, in terms of energy, San Shagaling, of course, it's all just, you know, the grace of God. And I would have to also commend my mother. You know, and my family for that. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I've known you as uh, very bubbly. You know, I've never seen you hey. 
uh, inactive, you know, you're always bubbling with ideas, bubbling with happiness. And taman -tama, you know, I think it's really God's way of telling us that, hey, Trix, this is your route. Okay, take this yes. route. So, um, how, how, how long have you, you are an entrepreneur right now. You are an mm -hmm. entrepreneur, even this, from the start uh, that I met yes. you, uh, you and your mom, you became an entrepreneur and you really pursued um, the business you started was an early, early start. You know, kumbaga, people were not saying, what, what kind of business is that? But you managed mm -hmm. to pursue, your mom really pursued about it. And now look, uh, mukhang, uh, branches na ba yan, no? Marami na, no? Uh, but you have taken a route uh, on positivity. Tell me, uh, Trix, uh, nowadays, you know, I, I read somewhere that uh, there's so much high incidence among uh, teenagers, the young people uh, yeah. who commit suicide simply because of loss of hope. How would you deal with that? Tama po yan, nakakalungkot po siya. But uh, sabi ko nga, we can only do so much. But then, sir, that is why, how do I deal with that? Um, I really push for workshops such as vision boarding. I mean, we start on that note, no? So ngayon po, if, if I get invitations from schools or groups, I make sure talaga na kung kaya, I'm really gonna do it. Because I think, you know, based from what I read and what I hear, um, one of the reasons is that they don't have anything to look forward to. That's one. Another is the youth of today, not, of course, not all, but let's say some youth of today, they feel that they're not good enough. I think siguro po napagdaanan din natin yan at some point, no? Uh, may, may mga ganong issues po, which I think din naman is valid. However, I think that they just need a community. You know, they need mentors. They need people who can remind them and show them the way, make them realize that, hey, you're good enough. And, you know, you, you just have to remember that you are loved. You have to feel that you are loved. Um, at kung ano man yung dreams sa iniisip mo, whatever problems you have right now, so, kung gusto, pwede lang natin sabihin, Sir Boots, no, no, naku, wala lang yan pag tumanda-tanda ka. <laughs> wala yung problema mo yun. But of course, we cannot tell them that. They won't understand. So what I'm really doing is whenever I give vision board workshops, I make time to really listen to them. I, 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 um, paano ba sasabihin to? Hindi, yung workshop po, Sir, hindi siya nakakahon eh. Parang sometimes I talk about different things depending on how I feel. No, about their energy. So you, 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 try, I, to, you try to feel the, the, the pulse of the audience. Um, you know, yes. you mentioned about people, telling people that they are loved. Uh, you know, I attended the Philippine Marketing uh, uh, Conference about last year. And mm -hmm. uh, Gary Valenciano, together with his daughter, was, were there. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I, one thing that really touched me is what's, what's also what you said, no? Yung bang, uh, making people, young people, feel loved, no? And that's the reason why Gary launched his 35 campus tour uh, to tell oh, the young wow. people that, hey, there are people also concerned with you, no? Because I think because yeah. of the social media age, um, the young people of today or even adults, you know, uh, they right. tend to believe uh, more of the social media rather than personal interaction, di ba? Mm -mm. Correct, correct po. So, dun kasi, sometimes dun nila binabase yung worth nila. Dun nila tinitingnan na, ah, buti pa siya, eh ako ganito. But, yun nga po, that's why it's, I, we always want to remind them that, hey, um, you know, you have your own dreams, you have your own identity, and that's the best thing that can ever happen to you, you know, to embrace who you are. Because no one else in this world full of billions, that's going to, you know, it's going to make a change in their lives. You know, uh, Trix, yeah. uh, we are showing you right now the Vision Board 2019. Um, oh! Uh, and uh, really, I'm so happy you're having this Vision Board. Tell us about what, what all began. How, how did this Vision Board uh, event begin? Oh, uh, it was in 2014 when my uh, when my best friend Shat Nasino and I decided to do a collaboration. No? So it, it turned out to be a public event that was the very first vision board workshop. 
that I did. Um, it's what makes it different from the other seminars or you know events. Is number one, it's not just a seminar; it's really a uh, it's a workshop. So, meaning to say, you get in there, and then bago ka umuwi, may may masterpiece ka talaga, which is a vision board or a dream board. You know where you put all the aspirations, everything that you wanna be, that you wanna have, you wanna do. Um, kasi ito po yung mga bagay na mukha siyang simple, but in reality, ang it nakadrain po ng energy, mag-isip pa lang eh, no, anong gusto ko? Kasi syempre buhay mo yan eh. So hindi lang yan one hour. I mean, it's it's not just like five minutes of thinking. It's it's really an hour or two to think of what you want. And so a vision board workshop is normally it's a three to four hour workshop where you get to have your own me time. So what happens there is, hmm, yeah, align mo yung energy mo with your values, with your dreams, and then you get to really think about, hey, ano ba importante sa akin? I'm so busy, I'm doing everything, you know, I, I, I work so hard, I do this. So parang, why am I doing this? What is this for? So that day allows you to have the time to really um, examine your values, your priorities, your aspirations in life. Because that will be your blueprint, eh. or at least that will make you focus. The vision board will make you focus on what's really important for you. Yon. So that's. Yeah, you know, Trixie, we are getting uh, viewers as far as Dubai. We would like to. Oh, say I love hello Dubai. To Malu Prado, who just came from the Philippines. Uh, she and her family spent uh, Christmas and New Year. And she's back oh. in, uh, you know, she's one of my proud. OFE overseas Filipino entrepreneurs no and oh, wow. uh, she's also oh. watching uh, watching live uh, four hours ahead ang, uh, four hours behind ang, uh, ang, ang Dubai so Say but yeah. vision board ba ay uh, madaling gawin uh, like you for example when you facilitate a, a, a workshop it, it does it really drain you out I mean at the end it's going to be something like a one day one to five but you know, how, how do you prepare if you're a motivational speaker, if you're trying to coach them? Um, is it too much a drain? Uh, how do you feel? Okay. Uh, I, before, I, before I start, sir, so hi to Miss Malu. I love Dubai. So, nagaling po kami dyan last year. <laughs> oh. um, at nag-workshop kami the year before. No? Where? Where was so, that? Tell, oh, tell in Malu. Dubai. Malu, Malu, um, Malu is watching. Miss Malu, sayang. Malay nyo next year or maybe this year. No, We did, uh, uh, it was an OFW blueprint wherein we had several speakers also. And I did a vision board workshop for OFWs. Sabi so, ni Miss Malu, ang ganda mo raw. Baka... Ay, maraming salamat po. Wow, wow. Nakukuha ba sa filter? <laughs> Ay, grabe po. Ano ba <laughs> You know, I'm trying to catch you uh, unguarded moments. And also, Carol, Caroline Tan. No, hey, Caroline. Pagkaibigan natin niya, no? She just Oh, joined. daming friends. Uh, and Jim Ordonez, you know, Jim Ordonez, a uh, real estate agent. Michael Ang. Uh, you know, Michael Ang, uh, our consul, honorary consul sa Jordan. Huh? Uh, wow, Ooh, you really have a lot of following uh, for... tricks. Uh, I'm so happy uh, people are watching uh, despite this hey, oras. You know, para bang, Thursday, uh, Ganon. Pa working uh, working hours. Right. Okay, sir. So anyway, so, tell us about the vision board. People are saying, "What vision board? Come on, that's easy. <clears throat> uh, why do I have to attend that workshop?" That's right. Thank you, sir. Number yes, it the you can say it's easy, but really once you're there, you know, easy push kasi masaya siya, no? Parang isipin mo lang gusto mo and ay, alam mo naman yung gusto mo or for other people, parang they feel na it's so basic. But the irony on that is that sometimes the most basic things are the things that we really don't give much attention and we forget how important they are. So para lang po tayo, pag wala kasi vision board, yung ibang tao, parang, sige lang, go ka lang ng go, you're so busy, you think you're productive, but then nakakalimutan mo yung big why mo eh. So parang, ba't mo ba ito ginagawa? O yan ba talaga yung gusto mong mangyari? So ang idea po behind the vision board is that uh, you train your brain, you know, you train your brain and you say na, hey, this is what I want. These are the things that are important to me. And so, tulog man ako, o gising man ako, you direct me to the opportunities that will make me realize all these things, right? So, as for me naman po, you were asking earlier, 
uh, di ko alam yung ibang speakers, no? But for me, normally, after I do a run, talagang kinabukasan, di ko po alam ba, pero talaga pagod na pagod ako yung feeling ko na, wow, binuhos ko lahat talaga. <laughs> so, I, siguro po yun lang talaga din yung, uh, the positive energy, I, I really try to give it you know, as, as much energy as I can. And, um, well, naturally, I'm, I'm very happy, I'm very blessed, and naturally, mataas talaga yung energy ko, pero pag may workshop, may talk ako, as in, I give it 200%, kasi there's no other option naman eh. There's no other way to do it. I think so, that's, uh, ev- that's how, how, how passionate speakers are, you know, I've seen a lot of speakers na talagang mm-hmm. after, the, after the seminar, or even during the break, they just want to sit down because... Uh, it's not that they're tired, but they're really drained physically, emotionally. Because lalo lalo na pag mga FAQs, mga questions, and then you're talking about lives. You know, these are not template. Uh, and I think that's what you're doing right now. You're not doing any template na cut and paste, hindi ba yung mga ganon ganon. So um, that's that's something else. Now talk about uh, is vision board. Sabi nga naiba is vision board similar to a New Year's resolution. Alam mo naman. Marami silang sabi niyan. We're now about 11 days, uh, 10 days ahead. Uh, and people are saying, ah, you know, New Year's resolution, wala rin yan eh. Pare-pareho lang yan. How would you counteract such negativism? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, actually, maganda naman po yung New Year's resolution. No? Kahit, kahit ako, meron din naman po akong ganun. But then, I, I would like to think of a vision board as a tool para dun sa New Year's resolution mo. Diba? Kunyari, sabi ko New Year's resolution, that's for the year, eh? like, a goal for for 2019, for example. So, if you say na, ha, papapayat ako, diba? Um, it helps, especially for people who are visual, it helps that they have a board where they can see, let's say, a beautiful body, you know, lean body, pwede nilang lagyan ng face nila dun, at nakalagay dun ko ilang pounds ang kanila uh, gusto mo. Mawala. Or let's say, gusto natin, uh, not much on the way. Let's say, I want to drink more glasses of water this year. And so, nakita mo siya visually. So, what happens po is, uh, a New Year's solution kasi can be, paano ba to? It can be, uh, well, just for the whole year. But with a vision board, lalo na for people who think long term, it can have various goals. Uh, na pang three months, six months, a year, ten years, kanyan. So and then, hopefully, holistic yung yung board mo, so that all aspects of life, um, you know, balanced siya. So yeah, I would like to say that a vision board is a powerful tool para ma matupad yung New Year's resolution mo. Mm-hmm. Okay, tricks. Let's talk about the hosting workshop. Believe naman ako talaga dito, you know, you really. Uh... <laughs> You're everywhere, but you know, I, I really must admire, salute you for all your energy, for all your inspiration. So, ano naman tong hosting workshop ni Trixie? Nice. Salamat po. So, uh, hosting workshop, because sir, I've been hosting for four, five years already. Uh, marami, marami po kasi nagtatanong, no? no? Trixie, paano mo ginagawa to? Or sometimes, itawag sila, Trix, may i-host akong event, paturo naman. So, naisip ko, adi sige, since um, gusto, niyong, gusto niyong matutunan, edi why not create a workshop? So, sir, last year, I started this, late last year, I invited Miss Isa Liton to do, uh, um, or to, you know, to be with me and do the very first hosting workshop. So, normally, I would do this, um, well, I, I've just done two, but the goal really is to help more aspiring hosts to uh, bring out, you know, their own personality. Okay, this is not to change them and say, hey, mali yung hosting style mo. It should be more of uh, uh, enhancing the personality that they have already. And yep. then, you know, addressing their concerns. Because, why am I doing this? Because, uh, sir, di ba, kahit ikaw po, when, when you attend a party or an event, syempre you want it to be one of the best na happy everything, the program flow is good, you're enjoying, you don't want to waste the time of the people. So I think it comes from the pain. Well, not really the pain, but, you know, um, we want more good hosts. 
Yeah, I noticed, uh, Trixie, you also invited our dear friend, Rico Hison, uh, our proud yes. Filipino from Singapore, working for Yes, BBC. yes, yes. Wow. And I, then, I was so very blessed na pumayag si Sir Rico Hison. Alam mo, busy, na, busy, busy rin to si Rico. Ha? He was just awarded, uh, you know, a walk of fame, di ba? Uh, recently. Correct. And uh, one thing nice with Rico is that uh, he always... He's very proud of being a Filipino, you know, and uh, right. and uh, really waving uh, on, on the airwaves of BBC. And uh, every That's time right. you see him in the in the news, uh, very accommodating. Siya. We, we uh, one time we visited him in the studio. He took the time and really showed us how the studio works in Singapore. In Singapore. Ang galeng eh, ang bait bait eh, no? Kung baga, unofficial ambassador ng mga Pinoy. <laughs> correct, <laughs> correct po, correct so, po. If, if only I can tell the whole world, no? How how good, how passionate talaga Sir Rico is. Oh my gosh. We'll tag him, no? Para, para, he'll be able to watch this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Idol I'm natin sure he, yan. I'm Idol. sure he'll be happy to, to watch you and to see everything. But tell me, um, how can we now, okay, after all these seminars, the workshop, uh, how do we now, let's say, like in the workplace, ano ba mga tips mo? Let's say, like I'm working in a in an office, uh, in a business center, uh, school, and uh, mm -hmm. it so happened that my colleagues uh, or some of them are nega. You know, yung mga nega, hindi posi. Uh, <laughs> uh, how, how do you try to, what, what kind of suggestion would you say that I can fight and try to conquer and convince them? Ano yung mga at least tatlong tips na pwede mong ibigay. Sige po. Okay, sige. Tatlong tips para sa if napapalibutan ka ng mga negatrons. Negatrons. Tama ba yan? <laughs> okay, sige. Ah, okay, yun number na. one. Like sige, in random ah. Sorry, in random. Okay, number one. Um, you would want to start your day na ikaw lang muna. You know, at least three minutes of your time. When you wake up in the morning, you say your thank you. Better if you can write. No, um, Quick lang. Thank you, Lord. Or thank you, God. Thank you, universe. For whatever that comes uh, out of your head um, because that alone akala natin wala na wala lang yun pero that actually helps you have a really positive day no? kasi you get to uh, remember your blessings so that's one so pag pumasok ka kahit sabi mong ang bungad sa'yo ay nega meron ka ng baon may bala ka na kasi nakapag start ka ng positive way number two Kapag po kasi meron akong mga hindi maintindihang mga tao sa paligid na negatron, iniis, nakakatulong eh, naisipin mo na, eh, ano lang yan, um, maybe the person is having a bad day because, no, ito yung problema niya, pasalamat ka na lang, wala kang problema na ganun, <laughs> or uh, pasalamat ka na lang na hindi ganyan yung outlook mo sa buhay, and so, since ikaw yung nakakaintindi, mas positive ka, um, just brush it off, you know, um, and, and pray for the person. You know, um, in your head, you just pray because that helps. No, kahit hindi niya alam. That's number some, two. Yeah, but, uh, but Trixie, sometimes, you know, like uh, especially for restaurants, uh, hindi ba? Sa restaurants, like customer service, you know, minsan mm -hmm. you get the feel bakit ganito yung mga, mga food attendants or even the supervisor. Masarap ang pagkain pero pagdating, mga negatrons, you know, para bang... Uh, if you are a restaurant owner, okay, I'm sure okay. I'm sure this will help. And I, I really want to encourage a lot of entrepreneurs who are in a restaurant or in food okay. business to be to attend your workshop. You know, I mean, um, uh, plugging uh, Nana. Okay. Thank you, thank and, you. And um, because to improve customer service, because alam mo ang business naman ngayon hindi naman mga AI and by artificial intelligence. Yes, you know? yes, 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 and, yes. And uh, we need also human, no? Like for example, right. when you call a, a call center, when you call, when you go to and visit a, a payment center, you go and visit a restaurant. But again, the people there are negatrons, you know. But if you are the owner or you are the supervisor, how would you try to sort of neutralize the air of negatrons? Sir, we're talking about um, the customers. Yeah, no, Uba? customer service, you know, customer service, okay. mga, mga staff nila, mga waiters, uh, mga, sa, uh, yung mga food attendants, you know, minsan pabagsak yung mga nagtatrabaho. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not good for the business, as we say it, you know, it's like negative vibes. But how would you, if you are a restaurant owner, how would you now try to neutralize this and, and really try to convince them about being positive? 
Okay. Um, as a as a uh, entrepreneur myself, no. Um, it would be nice. What one advice I can give is, you want to start the day of your team with a not naman a meeting eh, but you know, sir, important yung rara, kahit saglit lang, and um, maybe it it can work also if we teach our staff to um, to serve with. Well, number one, smile, smiling face, because a smile goes a long way. Kahit bad trip si customer, pero ningititian mo yan, uh, nakagaan ng loob. So, sometimes po kasi ating mga servers, hindi naman po nila talaga minimin, di ba, na magdabog or what, maybe dahil sa pagod. So, para mabawasan ng kanilang pagod at ang kanilang uh, negative thinking, um, nakatulong yung pag-smile. At, sir, if they can, if they can ask for the client's name, no? Total sila naman yung serve isa, dalawang oras yan. Tanongin na nila. Kasi once the person hears his or her name, for some reason, parang napapalapit yung loob eh. So, kung si customer mo eh medyo, uh, tawag dito, mainit ang ulo, makakabawas yan. Or at least they, they would feel valued. They would feel na, oy. Hindi lang ma'am sir tawag sa akin ito, Mrs. De La Cruz or what? Kasi, you know, I, I'm here for two, the next two hours. So, personalizing service. Those things, sir, I so think would, um, that will help. Yeah, you would say that uh, training, continuous training must be given yes. to sustain, not just on training on product, but rather more on on really yes. interpersonal relationship with customers, di ba? Kasi... Uh, yes, ano yan eh, minsan hindi natin mat- masisisi kasi may problema yan sa bahay, may problema sa mga kaibigan, uh, o kaya bad trip siya sa social media, uh, tapos pagdating sa restaurant, naka-bad trip rin siya. No? So I think Correct. it's really our our role as an entrepreneur to really uh, push and to make sure that these people understand the value of service kasi pag nasira yeah. ang restaurant mo, nawala na yung customer, lalo na yung mga reviews ngayon, di ba? We are very conscious about Tampa. reviews uh, of restaurants or services. Pag masama yung reviews, sigurado yan, you know, we will have a dwindling number of customers, di ba? Right, right, right. Sir Corny man, no? Pero totoo to eh. Sinasabi nila na, eh, ikaw nga, kailangan araw-araw kang maligo. So, palin. So, sabihin yung motivation mo na binibigay, araw-araw din po yan. Kasi, um, a lot of business owners would think na, eh, eh ano ko na yan, ah, pinadala ko na yan sa training. Doing workshop na yan last year, dapat okay na yan. Uh, hindi po kasi ganun. So by by nature, we need constant motivation and reminder. So tama po yung sinabi ninyo. Um, hanggang sa, hanggang sa sila na mismo, sila na yung makikitaan nyo po ng, you know, yung kusang loob at sila na mismo yung, yung uh, magsusupport sa isa't isa pag nakikita nilang medyo hindi maganda yung vibes ng kanilang okay. mga kasamahan. Uh, you, you, you invested on a lot of training. Uh, you invested on uh, yes. uh, Dale Carnegie. You invested on Tony Robbins. Uh, is this like a, an investment that you are looking at na where you are right now? Uh, kasi nga, very important, no? like even entrepreneurs, very important is for us to continuously invest, uh, not just on seminars, but really on reading books, having, um, you know, watching uh, positive, uh, you know, shows rather than you mga sad, sad stories. Uh, is that what you did? Uh, is, are, are those your stepping stones, Rick? <clears throat> Yes, sir. These are the things na hin- sa una po hindi ko na-realize ah, na investment ko na siya. But along the way, habang um, pamahal ng pamahal yung mga workshops, no? <laughs> yung pag nakita ko po, oh my God, I don't spend on bags, I don't spend on, on gadgets. I spend talaga on, on live workshops. Um, they're really expensive, but it's worth it because, you know, it directly, uh, how do you say that? benefits me and me as a speaker as a you know as a coach gets to spread and share whatever i learned to the people here in the philippines so i think this is also one of the you know one of the stepping i would say stepping stones um uh, um so yes <laughs> yes to tama po uh, i've always believed that 
di ba po, parang yung shoes, kasi ilang beses mo lang yung masusuot eh. Yung bags, how many times mo lang yung madadala. But if you work on yourself, you seek out mentors who've done it. Like Tony Robbins, you know, Dale Carnegie. And then, you would really feel very much equipped. And uh, you'd be able to empower more. You'd have more credibility to help out others. Uh, yeah. Sir, that's why probably, uh, th- that's also one of the reasons why um, I got into the Good News Pilipinas team. Uh, yeah. If I know you're, you're a writer, right? You yes. write for it. Yes. You send yes. out Miguel. So I've joined the group recently as one of their anchors. And maybe it's because of you know, it's energy, di ba? Plus, yun nga, siguro nakita rin nila na, uy, since pareho tayo naman ng goal, no? We want to spread positive news about the Philippines and the Filipinos. So even, ito po, nasa vision board ko to. Hindi ko pa kilala si Good News Pilipinas noon, pero yung thought na I'd be able to do a show, thought na I'd be able to just um, report about good news, no? Na, nasa vision board ko siya. So nagulat ako when, when I was asked to join their team, at hindi po nila alam yon ngayon lang nila nalalaman. <laughs> so, so, si inibitan so ni sure. Angie, right? <laughs> yes, yes, okay. yes. So, so uh, I think basically, um, not many people would believe that what you what you wish for is what you will have, no? Uh, I, I, I've entered, I've seen a lot of debates na, oh, come on, it's just a, my, it's just a subconscious, oh, come on, you're just conscious about it. But, Sometimes you have this what you call deja vu, di ba? Yung okay, ba, yeah. You you sort of I don't know. Have, have you felt that? Now sometimes you stop at the middle of a situation and say, "Oops, teka, I've seen this uh, this situation." Have you have, have you have has that in, uh, happened to you? Ha, means and sir, means and and normally may isip ko, "Hey, parang premonition kasi." Nasa panaginip ko yun eh. No? Or minsan naman parang, saan ko kaya nakita yun? Ah, kasi visualize ko. Okay. Visualize ko, so now it's manifesting. No? Uh-huh. So, sir, but totoong-totoo talaga yung be careful what you wish for because it will happen. True. That's true. 100% true. Yung iba lang po, siguro kaya they feel na it's not true or, you know, kasi he walang, hindi po naka-align yung energy. True. Or hindi sila naniniwala na it's gonna happen. But once you believe, once you have really 100% faith, and you know that it's possible to happen, it will be given to you. That's true. Anyway, uh, a lot of people are asking us, where can we get in touch with Miss Trixie Esguera? Wow, my uh, Is there any app yes. that, uh, do you have an app where they can probably click and say, Miss Trix, I need some positivism. Uh, alam mo, may, alam mo, at the age of apps, di ba? May mga ganon. Correct. Na, pag makiklik na ganon. I feel down today, Miss Trix. How can I be boosted up, you know? I love that. Thank you. Ilalagay ko po sa vision board yung Positive Trix app. Okay, ngayon po, they can just go to my website after watching the show, uh, trixiesguera.com. And uh, I'm gonna, after this also, I'm gonna write down in the comment section my social media account or handle so that they can get in touch with me um, there. And if they are in Manila, they would want to join us on the very first Vision Board party this year, which will be on January 26 at the Project T Solutions um, in BGC. So that's in partnership with Yes Biscor. Uh, yeah, minsan lang po ako mag-public workshop. So, go, go, go. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, para bang very rare moment ito na how many people can be accommodated in this workshop, Trix? Uh, we're looking between uh, 25. Max. Okay na yun. 25, yes. Eh, paano kung, let's say, out of this uh, interview now, there are about 100 that will show up. Wow! Umuha tayo ng area. <laughs> That's a dream board. Umuha tayo ng area. <laughs> okay. Right, right, right. Um, I, I, if, if they go to my uh, website, Sir Boots, www.trixiesgare.com, uh, they can put in their email ad and nickname because I send out weekly newsletters a month where they can get in touch with me or what's happening and uh, positive news stories every week. So, yeah. Have you, have you, by the way, Trixie, have you written a book? It's on the works. <laughs> oh, it's on the works. Yay. So, uh, hopefully, it will be a book of the year or uh, 
uh, probably uh, published in Amazon? Ay, dapat. Oh, dapat ilagay natin doon. Okay. So, what what other countries have you been? Have you given seminars uh, with regard to your hosting, to your... Uh, uh, Saan-saan ka na napunta ba? Ah, uh, okay. Dubai. Uh, Dubai, with siya. Na sino? Um, Sing- Nag-Singapore na ba? Hong Kong. Still with China, Sino and Joey Tayaban. I did one in California. Uh, I did one in Africa. Yun. Wow. Meron pa ba? Meron. Yung mga yun po. Mm-hmm. And, and looking uh, forward to more this, this grabe, year. Grabe, marami kang natouch sa uh, Dubai because you have our friend Sugar Espadera uh, watching also. Sugar! Oh, I think I know gosh. her. You know, I mean... Uh, Mukhang pabalik ka sa Dubai, you know, with Miss Malu watching you and Sugar. Uh, Let's you'll go! You'll be helping a lot. <laughs> Alam mo, ang, ang, ang isang feeling ko lang talaga, Trixie, is that we need to help our overseas Filipinos, no? Uh, especially changing mindset. Yung bang uh, trabaho lang ng trabaho, tapos wala nang kinabukasan. Uh, work, padala, work, padala. But again, yung mga beneficiaries naman are not also helping. Uh, I think we really need to inject some positivism uh, in them. Na they have to think that life is not going to be permanent. Uh, what they earn is not going to yeah. be permanent. Uh, like our friend Randall Johnson would always say, whatever right. you earn, you have to save. You know, um, And right. I think that's something that we all need to work out uh, so that probably in your future seminars or probably in your other countries, we can help OFWs. No? Uh, especially right. if they can become overseas Filipino entrepreneurs, no, not just workers. Tama. So anyway, um, I don't want to think much of your time. Alam ko, you're so busy. Pinagbigyan mo lang ako dito dahil sa kakulitan ko. <laughs> Naku, maraming salamat, Sir Boots. And uh, I just want you to give me, give me three tips for our viewers. Uh, what is it that you can now share to really boost up their there were positivism. Uh, just give him three tips lang. Three tips. O sige, para positive tayo all, lagi, no? Well, not naman all the time. Kasi we need then also uh, sadness in our lives, okay? So tip number one would have to be, uh, please, if you can, keep a journal with you where you can really uh, write down the things that you're thankful for and, you know, declare what you want to happen today. So, for example, sulat mo lang. Like, today, I don't feel that pretty. I want to feel pretty. So, sulat mo. Today, I am beautiful. Yung mga ganon. No? Mukha po siyang corny, pero trust me, it works. Number two, you would want to invest on yourself because this is not something that you just, you know, wake up and then, wow, thank God, ano, happy, happy lang ako. Hindi po ganon yun eh. Um, yung mga masasayang tao that you see around you, it, it, it takes effort as well. Because you decide that, hey, today I'm going to be happy. Today I'm not going to let negativity inside of me. So uh, what I'm trying to, to say for tip number two is um, you invest in yourself, attend seminars, seek out mentors who would give you that daily motivation and inspiration to sustain you. And number three, tip number three, create a vision board or update your vision board No, just so you and take a look at it every day so that you'll get inspired. You have something to look forward to. And you don't get to be, uh, you know, sad. Because you know that, hey, I, I, don't, I must not give up. Because I have all these goals for myself and my family. Um, yeah. So, those are the three tips. Wow. Alam mo, yung tatlo na yun, mabigat na eh. No? Para bang ang hirap dalhin natin. <laughs> tatlo na yun. No? Uh, Una-una, yung writing a journal. Misan eh. Uh, nakakatamad magsulat ayoko na one sentence lang sir wala nangyayari uh, yung iba naman to think and to condition your mind you know uh, but again it takes discipline di ba so uh, really take see I'm so happy and I'm really thankful for giving me this time I'd like to give acknowledgement to a lot of people who watch who are watching us you know we have um, well, si Sugar Espadera, wow, alam mo, pag nagbigay ng seminar yan, fantastic. Uh, easy 500 wow. uh, participants siya, no? lalo na ano nasa Dubai. Uh, you have Elsie Gonzaga from Bacolo. Doy, Elsie, ha? Uh, you should really invite uh, Miss Trixie over there, especially sa 
inyong group no sa Bacolod. Um, you have Georgie Hipolito all the way from Los Angeles, California. LA, hi. Uh, wow, fantastic. You know, you have Fram Apurado, you have uh, Cherry Desiderio, uh, you have Joel Aquino, you have Eric Paikai. Alam mo si Eric is wow. also one of our mentors here, no? Uh, who is into retail and as well as coaching. Um, and dami, and dami. Wow, talagang umaani si Miss Trixie. Okay, so uh, Trixie, on behalf of Just a Minute with the Guru, thank you very much. And really, I'm so proud seeing you where you uh, are right now. You know, from uh, a young girl and still <laughs> a young, young girl reaching a greater <laughs> height. And I'm so proud of you. Talagang saludo ko. The last time we met, was in ANC Shop Talk, and you were so surprised when I told you how we met. Yeah. And uh, siguro, yun ang uh, positivism. No? Uh, don't think that you're old. <laughs> okay? <laughs> don't think you're old. Nobody's old. Sabi nga na sa mga Pilipino, kalabaw lang na tumatanda. Okay. okay. So again, thank you very much, and really thank keep in you. touch. I hope I can write something about you in my column in ABS-CBN. Uh, and I hope oh. we can also do a tandem seminar or group of seminars so we can really help out, oh, yeah. especially our fellow men. Okay? Salamat so, ng marami. Maraming maraming salamat uulitin ulit. Okay? Thank you. Have a good okay. day, everyone. Have a good Thank day. you. Thank you. And all the staff, saan ba yung mga, yung mga staff na dyan? No? Staff? Oh, yeah, 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 Oh, yan yan This, mga, uh, yan. The Good News Philippines team. Oh, yan yung good news. Ayan, ayan. Yan yung mga, yan yung mga positive guys. You know? Yay! Oh, si Miss Angie. Uh, how are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Kamusta daw po, Miss Angie? Thank yeah. you. Thank you daw po. <laughs> Thank you. Sa ano eh. Thank you and keep positive and mabuhay kayo lahat. Salamat. Bye-bye. Well, you have seen um, a young lady, Trixie. Esguera, Trixie Barreto Esguera, and really fantastic how she was able to um, inspire people, no? Bata yan, but you know, she's so powerful. She has given a lot of motivation. Uh, but again, positivism. Sabi nga niya, if you really want to do it, do it. But make sure you, you, you have uh, what you wish for, you know? Um, Ano sabi niya? Tatlong tips. One, keep on writing what you want. Don't say negative. You say, I am, I am, I am, you know. And number two is really uh, try to beautify yourself, you know. There's nothing wrong in beautifying yourself. And always say you can do it. You can do it, no. And um, I hope you can watch uh, Trixie, especially in her workshop, and also go in and get in touch with her in uh, her website. Let me put that up again, the website of Trixie. Uh, is Gera. You can get in touch with her. Uh, if you have groups that you want, uh, you have groups and you want to invite her, uh, try to get in touch with her. So um, again, um, on behalf of Just a Minute with the Guru, I'm so thankful our internet connection is so good. Uh, thank you, Dubai. We love you, Dubai. Thank you a lot of countries who are watching from Los Angeles to uh, San Pabaito. No, dami dami, no? Uh, hello, thank you, Trixie, from Mr. Fram Apurado. No? And again, thank you, Chiki Barreto, for uh, giving this wonderful lady and really such an inspiring one. On behalf of uh, Just a Minute with Guru, this is Butch Bartolome. And if you happen to like it, you can find me on YouTube. Go and my channel is Franchise Consultants. We will be coming up with more and more entrepreneurs who are out there to reach out. Reach out, inspire, and help each other because together we can do it. Again, Mabuhay Filipinas, Butch Bartolome po. Bye-bye.